One of the most common questions Christians hear from our Muslim friends is, where did Jesus say, I am God, in the Bible? The idea behind the question seems to be that Jesus never made this claim, not even in our scriptures. Now, if you've read the New Testament, you know that Jesus claimed to be God over and over again in a variety of ways. We'll take a look at one of the ways Jesus claimed to be God here in a moment. But before we turn to Jesus' words, it's important to keep in mind some of the common ground between Christians and Muslims. I don't believe in the Quran, but I agree with some of the claims the Quran makes. The Quran says that Jesus performed miracles. I agree with the Quran that Jesus performed miracles. I agree with the Quran that Jesus was born of a virgin. I agree with the Quran that Jesus is the Messiah. So even though I don't believe in Muhammad, I think we should recognize that Christians and Muslims share some common ground. One of the beliefs that Christians and Muslims have in common is our belief that only God can truly say certain things. In other words, there are statements that would be false if they came from anyone other than God. For instance, any human being with the ability to speak can say the words, I created the universe. But the statement, I created the universe, is only true when God says it. If I were to claim to be the creator of the universe, I would be lying or insane or something like that. So part of the common ground between Christians and Muslims is that we all believe that some statements are only true when God makes them. Let's look at an example of something that only God can truly say, according to both the Quran and the Bible. This is the Quran, Surah 57, verses 1 through 3. Whatever is in the heavens and on earth, let it declare the praises and glory of Allah. For He is the exalted in might, the wise. To Him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. It is He who gives life and death, and He has power over all things. He is the first and the last, the evident and the hidden, and He has full knowledge of all things. The Quran refers to Allah as the first and the last. Allah is the first, al-awal, because nothing comes before him, and he is the last, al-akhir, because nothing comes after him. Al-awal and al-akhir are two of Allah's 99 names. The Bible also calls God the first and the last. In the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 6, we read, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last, and there is no God besides me. The word Lord here in Hebrew is Yahweh, the biblical name of the one true God. So, according to the Bible, Yahweh is the first and the last. Now, the book of Isaiah is in the Old Testament, the collection of scriptures revealed before the time of Jesus. But the New Testament, the collection of scriptures revealed after Jesus came into the world, also uses the title, the first and the last. In the book of Revelation, chapter 1, the apostle John sees a vision. He says, in verse 17, when I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man, and he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the first and the last. So, who must be speaking here, according to the Bible and the Quran? God, right? Let's read it again, along with verse 18. When I saw him, I fell at his feet like a dead man. And he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. And I was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and of Hades. I am the first and the last. That's one of God's unique titles. And the living one. And I was dead and behold, I am alive forevermore. When did God die, according to Islam? The first and the last says that he died. When did that happen? 
You see, if you're familiar with the book of Revelation, you know that this is Jesus talking to the Apostle John. Jesus calls himself the first and the last. Why would a mere prophet call himself the first and the last when, according to both the Bible and the Quran, only God can truly call himself that? The reason, obviously, is that Jesus is claiming to be God. So, to all my Muslim friends who've been told by your apologists that Jesus doesn't claim to be God in the Bible, you need some better apologists. You need some apologists who are honest with the text they're dealing with, even if they don't agree with it. As for the Christians who are watching, if you get into a serious discussion with a Muslim, I can almost guarantee that at some point, your Muslim friend is going to ask, where did Jesus claim to be God? And the Bible commands you in 1 Peter 3.15 to be prepared to give an answer when people ask you about what you believe. There are lots of ways to respond to questions about the deity of Christ, but if you don't have an answer prepared already, it wouldn't be a bad idea to remember a few references like the ones I just used. Quran 57, 1-3, Isaiah 44.6, and Revelation 1.17-18. If you'd like more, be sure to visit us at answeringmuslims.com.